Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We are in the in stretch of Arlong Park, which I'm very excited for. Um, because for the most part, you know, I had context of these little arcs and stories and how things were going to unfold. Um, and in general, I have some spoiling context for the story overall of because of people's comments. And then, of course, you know, since I am a creator, I don't like saying that since I, this is a hobby. But um since I'm in the algorithm of posting this stuff, I do come across some things. So like Shanks still being mysterious as far as the, the current episodes are right now. Um, Luffy going all the gear modes. Um, epic fights happening. So I know it's like Luffy versus Kato was crazy. Luffy being like the Looney Tunes style for gear five. Uh, Zoro fighting someone. But I, I know these are epic scenes, but I haven't watched them yet purposely avoiding them all but just to give you know more transparency i am aware of certain things down the road but for the most part like from this point after all on park going forward to everything else completely new why won't this stay up why won't this stay up i got a haircut trim today so it's just kind of i haven't done anything with it so he loosened it up you know i gotta i gotta put some gel in it later not tonight but tomorrow morning Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to finish this up. So after this, relatively all new, I'm going to be in the dark, which that's what I like. I like not knowing shit, but I love to theorize and guess stuff. I think it's fun. I think I'm accurately, not accurately, I think I'm relatively pretty good at theorizing and guessing stuff. I'm not always right, which, you know, that's good because that will make everything boring because you'll pr predict everything. But it is very fun. So I like to theorize a lot in a one piece itself is known for huge theories so i think i found like the perfect series to just watch besides it being a masterpiece uh just the whole theorizing concept so very excited for that episode 43 we got 43 and 44 the new territory so i'm excited i'll i'll do more reviews and talks after like episode 44 my final thoughts and like everything and then we'll we'll continue watching so again appreciate you guys um yeah, so let's start it. There is no one else on the face of the planet that can draw sea charts with such accuracy and efficiency. Do you know that though? Do you know that? that? young lady has a gift. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of it that way. And there really isn't anything that's ultimately her blood's all over it. For me, is her only chance of living <laughs> up to her full potential. I love how he's always distracted and just not caring when Arlong's talking. He's like, oh, look, what the fuck's this? Like, every time like Arlong goes on a spiel, Luffy just zones out. Like, boring. This pen is stained with blood. Yep. She will continue drawing he's not phased at all, dude. Ambitions. We fishmen will be totally invincible. And totally. the world shall kneel before us. This island. He's about then to get we'll punched. To the Holy Blue. Right? She would be wasted on you. You fucked up. You fucked up, Arlong. You done goofed, bud. Hmm. Tell him, Luffy. Oh, is he gonna snap it right now? <laughs> Just like the live action? The shark's off. It won't budge. Oh, shit. Just like he did in the live action. He's about to bust it. He's about to bust. No! He busted. Use her? I love the similarities Bro between Luffy. the anime and the live action. Big Bro Luffy, are you okay? Big Bro Luffy. What's going on up there? What do you take her for? <laughs> Granted. That she's a feisty little kitten. After all, she is adorable. <laughs> She's a feisty she little kid. Place, and it's here beside me. She'll be my friend. <laughs> this fucking laugh, bro. <laughs> what is that? Bro. I love the intensity of that. It's so fucking cool. You got, you got him laughing and then that, that subtle background music. And Luffy's like, no, fuck this. Kick the table out through the wall. By the way, that's a strong-ass table. Last, like, surviving Luffy's kick and the fucking wall. Like, who made that table? Because that's that's great marketing right there. 
I'm just gonna go back and play it because that was pretty intense. <laughs> like that impact sound was so good too. Strong ass desk. Not a table, it's a desk. It's a desk. It's okay. It's just, just a, a desk. desk. Man, I'm scared. <laughs> I thought that was Big Bro Luffy for sure. Hold on. I don't want to hear that oh kind of talk God. from you. No. We need a big bro to counter for these guys. I just, uh, well, for big know, sis. I thought it was Arlong flying through the air. What it will be. Crap. You were scared. Admit it. Admit what? You I assume sure? they're going to collapse this building down? like the There's live no action. Way the big bro Luffy is going to lose this fight. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I think he's going to take down the whole building. What's going on? He's destroying all of her negative oh. memories. Today, to free her I like that desk, that's how I'm interpreting it because this is like her prison and he's destroying it to free her Stop it now! you're fucking up the charts Dumb bat. You can't trick me that oh my god bro charts. somebody called child protective services jeez wow I you waste your time. if you ever try to pull oh. this again I'll drag all those villagers in here and make you watch as I crush every single one. Oh my Just god, like bro. That's eight years worth of work, eight years of planning and ambition. Fuck him up, Luffy. Ah, uh, this is good. I like this touch to it. Wow, this fight is so freaking intense. Yeah, a fight to the death. Definitely makes, like, even though the live action was great. I say this every time, like, don't get me wrong. The live action was great. I'm going to say this two more episodes, and then I won't be able to say that anymore. But uh, when I, one more episode, this is not one. But this is a great touch. You know, Luffy destroying the room to, like, symbolizing freeing Nami from Arlong and everything. Besides physically doing it, like, destroying, like, her prison imprisonment um, room is a really cool concept. I know is limited, which he kind of did in the live action because that, I don't know, that hall room or whatever they were in, that's where like Nami was chained up and all the charts and everything were. So they, they did do that in the live action. I just don't think it was as addressed as this is. And it so it really shows like that bond that Nami's gonna like that relationship building. It's gonna like improve and get them together down the road after the, these events it's really cool to see i'm kind of butchering the explanation i think my seat lowered a bit did it no it's just it's, i think it did it definitely did wow coffee's weighing me down but it's so cool i'm liking this happy for nami it's definitely a lot more emotional touch to it yeah see this is good yeah, see, thank you. Yeah. He's freeing her. This is awesome. Take it to the ground, Luffy. Holy shit! Now you've got too far. Take him out to dinner first, Arlo. Jesus. Uh, you keep jabbering on about how much He's gonna rip his nose off. And how much you I heard the cracks. Secrets. I don't understand anything about that stuff. I is he figured out doing it? There's blood. Oh shit! This the fucking look. Oh my god. Anime Luffy's so god. fuck. Ah, oh, his fucking nose, bro. His fucking nose. I gotta go back to it. Look at that fucking nose. Oh my god. Luffy broke that shit. I love anime Luffy. I mean, live <laughs> here I go again. Live action is great. Don't get me wrong, but dude, anime Luffy is fucking hardcore. I love it. God damn, bro, he's just like fuck your nose. <sighs> and then that that serious look he had. God, Luffy's a baller, dude. Battle axe. He put him place that easily. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Push him down. Yeah. Oh man. Ah. 
I do say, because it was live action, and I think, I, I'm always afraid of butchering, it's Anaki, right? Anaki was the actor for Luffy. Phenomenal voice acting for that. Like, his scream of battle axe was so good. Like, the live action of this moment takes the cake, of course. Just with the CGI and everything, like, they executed this perfectly with the battle axe slamming Arlong through all the floors. Like, all of this, it was, like, perfectly um, replicated. But the live action version was fucking awesome. I mean, this is fucking awesome, too. But given the fact that it was live action and we get to see it all like that unfold with the good CGI and everything, just an epic moment. So good. But I'm glad to see it in the anime, too, because it was such a good moment. Oh, we actually get to see Arlong this time. Is he about to get buried, though? Luffy did get bit, too. It's gonna collapse. Okay. No, Big like bro! Big bro, no! This room isn't anything but her jail cell. Mm, only called one it. One way for Nami to escape. Mm, the happy music. Oh yes. I got goosebumps. I, I forgot about Zoro dying over here. Sleeping, sleeping. He healed by sleeping. Oh no. It's gonna bleed out again. Big bro Luffy. What went on in there? They got the third base. And it got a little crazy. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's Luffy! <laughs> Big bro! Big bro! <laughs> He's just standing there. What's wrong? Is he gonna shout the Nami? Yep. Yeah. Nomi, you'll always be my friend. Hmm. You know, I'm just thinking about it because, like, I'm sure it shows this scene a lot throughout, like, the anime. Because I, I noticed they do it a good bit. Let's, we're just going to go back. And you could confirm this. It's okay. You, you could confirm this. I'm okay with this to be confirmed. Zoro's smirk, bro. This. Like, I bet you. Because I, I feel like I've seen this ten times already. We're in episode 43. I feel like I've seen this like ten times. Because it's like Zoro and Luffy are such bros. And like it's just like his moments of him being proud. Uh, or respect respecting of Luffy and just like happy for him. He's like, fuck yeah, that's my dude. So like then like he always does the smirk. And I feel this happens a good bit. So let me know. Like, does Zoro do this a lot throughout? Uh, because I feel he's going to. I just feel like that's one of his signature acknowledgement, like facial expressions. Cause he got this and then he's gonna smirk. Yeah, I just, I feel like that happens a lot. I don't know. He won. I wasn't surprised he at all. Won. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just funny as fuck the fact that like he dove for her and Nochiko dodged him. But I wonder if this was the call back in the live action when uh, Nami came out, she ran to Usopp and Zoro and hug them because Sanji was like hey Nami and then she just dodged them and hugged the other two guys so I wonder if it's this part that like they brought back to life in the live action or if that also happens I don't know but that shit's so fucking it's funny bro really Nojiko just dodged his ass you almost did as good as me there she is. This is awesome. And she puts it back on.
Oh, this fucking guy. Someone beat his ass. Someone beat his ass. Riff raff. I'll be taking all the money I was supposed to give to him. Now drop your weapons. Oh shit. Oh yeah. He's gonna get knocked out. Yep. Right? Now that's just plain rude. He's actually beating the shit out of him. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> You'll be sorry, I promise you. Guy's knocked out so hard he's dreaming. This is for shooting Nojiko. And also for mercilessly destroying Bellamere's tail. Yeah, he shot Nojiko. I forgot about that. There we go, because not Nami knocked him out in the live action. Thanks, Nami. That felt good. <laughs> A thousand more and we'll call it even. Uh, he should have drowned. Ooh. What you're gonna do is clean up after those fishmen. Got it? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, chump. Mark my freaking words, rubber man. Major things are gonna happen. Because you made me angry. Major things are gonna happen. They all swim off. You know I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Are you really that dumb? Hold on. What yes. Next? What's that on your chest? <laughs> Opens his wounds again. This moment on, this entire island and its inhabitants are a part of my domain. Not anymore, buddy. I'm liking like the the quick flashback of all this. Board on him. Board on him, Ginzo. Give him the pink eye. Damn, he's fucked up. Oh, Bellamere. Now it's done. The spirit of Bellamere can finally be at peace. Hello? Hello? <laughs> this is Just this fucking voice. Hello? Hello? I need help. I need help. These guys beat my ass because I was doing illegal sketchy shit. Chee chee. Like, <laughs> he, he fucking had like, even though you're a rat, does everything have to be like themed rat? Like his whole house is a fucking rat. Even like his little porta potty station right here is a little rat ears. Navy headquarters. Headquarters, right? Good. Hello. This is Colonel Nezumi. I'm Hello. Branch sixteen three three. I have. There's a transponder snail, right? I think it's transponder snails. Transpond. I forget. People on TikTok chewed me out for calling them snails. They're not snails. They're not snails. I forget what they called them, but inform me, please. The request. It doesn't look like him, though. Right? Aren't they supposed to look like the owner? It should look like a rat, right? There really is no reason to shout. I can hear you. Listen, there's a pirate who wears a straw They look so out of it, though. It cracks me up. Listen, like, they're over it. A pirate who wears a straw hat. I hereby declare that he and his four crew members are enemies of the government. Transmitting photograph now. Roger that. Couldn't you have taken a better picture than that? <laughs> no. Sorry, sir. Verification. Does he do like the peace sign? Approval, sir. Dead or alive. Damn, he does do the peace sign. Oh shit. Nezumi is petty. He's a petty boy. Petty petty. Instead of saying chi chi, he should say petty petty. Because he's a fucking petty guy. Rat. He's a turd. What was I going to say, though? I had so many thoughts in my mind when I was just trying to finish this episode. So, Luffy got his wanted poster. So proud of him. He doesn't know it yet. I, I think he'll find out next episode. But I just want to say, too, is like, even though this is, in a not negative way, dated, it's in dated anime, it's fucking awesome. Like, it, it's, it's holding up well. What, what is it like? It's like 20 plus years old and it's great like the animations i don't think are bad uh like there's new animes out now that are way worse that are way worse like i don't want to like offend anyone but uh, okay promise neverland season two season one was phenomenal 
perfect it, especially with it aligning with the the manga and everything great season two butchered and it's because they got lazy or something and it was just did to like picture frames like they had a picture of something and it was just moving like just a lot of this shit um one piece has been phenomenal and it's like dated and it's holding up so well but besides like animations i like i like the the sound effects they're good the comedy is great the writing the writing's phenomenal the character development is great like just the attention to detail with certain things so good it's it's holding up super well so that's that's basically what i wanted to say i i really did like this episode for the most part it aligned pretty well with the live action concept because i i do think they address that nezumi is the one who as his final way to get back at luffy he created the wanted poster um so then people would be after luffy but that's fucking easy like anyone could create a wanted poster like you just call into dispatch and be like hey this guy tripped me in the hallway 40 million berry he's fucking wanted dead or alive get his ass like <laughs> that's what it seems like you could just call in and be like hey this guy i'll send you a picture but this guy he's a jerk kill him 40 million berry like Nezumi's not paying out of pocket. I'm sure that's like the the government Marines side or whatever that will like the tax money will probably be paying those berries for the wanted list. I don't know. They're probably money laundering. Who knows? Washing all their money at the laundromat. But this this was great. Definitely very emotional too. Like they did a great job with like the emotional aspects. I loved the the symbolism and concept of like Luffy freeing Nami by destroying the room she was like imprisoned and imprisoned in like her whole life like her youth to now basically it was so cool like i love that they touched and focused on that they didn't really like they did in the live action but they didn't openly address it as much as they did in the anime which i was picking up on it before they addressed it because they were doing it so well to focus on it and give it attention uh, and like recognition compared to the live action just a live action you probably just have to like oh yeah it's probably this i don't know that could just be me but yeah this phenomenal uh, good emotions so the next episode uh i'm pretty sure luffy's gonna find out he has a wanted poster everyone's gonna be happy nami is gonna say farewell to nochiko um ginzo everyone on the island her uh Bellamere, everything so it might be a little more emotional aspect for her and then they get together Get on the going merry and start sailing away and put their feet. Feet. Wow. I said feet. Ooh. That's not right. And put their feet on the barrel and say their goals. I think. And then they might do the introduction, like setup for the next arc. But we're gonna find out right now. What's up guys? Welcome back. Episode 44, the final episode of Arlong Park. I think it's the final episode of the East Blue Saga overall. So that's awesome because now everything going forward is completely new. So I'm excited to start the new journey. I mean, this was all relatively new in terms of watching and starting the anime, but now like story and like not knowing any context of anything going forward and like fully surprised about everything, I'm excited for. So yeah, very excited for that. So we're gonna get started. <laughs> She has dust in her eye, that's all it is. Park is gone! Yeah, fuck Arlong, yeah! It's like a big parade celebration session. A new gang of pirates show up. <laughs> that would be shitty. I've been there. There we go. Feed that appetite. <laughs> Luffy just dies. Has holy shit! Turn into a smurf. Are you sure that's him? He's kind of goofy. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor working on Zoro. Well, you saw the way he looked after that fight. You dumbass. Yeah. Did you think this would heal on its own? <laughs> They're sleeping good. Because pirates really like to sing. That's true. But why is that? I think I know the next crew member, um, context-wise, because, here we go, here's the context. They just said, Do you, don't you guys have a ship doctor? And Luffy's like, that's great, never thought of that. 
but then it made me just think about i just did well for youtube wise i didn't just do it it'll be weeks maybe a month later but i watched the one piece for kids opening reaction and they said chopper is doctoring that was the lyrics in it chopper's doctoring and i know chopper is a part of one piece of course so i think that might be the next crewmate because of course too i've seen tons of memes and everything about uh what to expect in season two one piece live action and chopper was like the main topic like how are they gonna do it are they gonna cgi him is he gonna be a deer how are they gonna do it so i'm expecting chopper in the next arc or saga coming coming up after this so yeah that's cool that's exciting first hey doctor where's nami mm. I didn't know Chopper was like a doctor, though. <laughs> like, I just didn't see village, that coming. There's only one place she'd go. Bellamere's Cross Tomb. Your friends have been looking for you. Fuck them. <laughs> hey, That'd be so Genzo. silly. If Bellamere were still alive and I wanted to become a pirate, do you think? She'd let me do it. A oh, pirate. for sure. That wouldn't stop you, would it? Mm. <laughs> That's mm. right. Nope. You certainly are Bellamere's kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Nami, you've already made up your mind about this. It's what Bellamere would have wanted. Mm. They're still partying, bro. I mean, everyone would be, realistically. Like, for days. Three days? Oh shit. Smoke him if you got him. Hey Shanti! Oh where my god. Melon you had? Melon? Show me where you found it. Yeah, <laughs> show me where you found it. Basically one giant buffet. Time to dance. Time to dance. <laughs> oh my god. Just gonna sleep now. Let's sing about me! Let's sing about me. Oh man. Damn, rub it in his face. Holy shit. I was kind of upset at first. Like, don't you miss your dead dad? I decided just to think about my future. We can succeed or fail. Kids fucking mature. Whining about the past gets us nowhere. Damn. It's no fun if I can't harass you for being a baby. So you decided to hurt me instead? You stupid old punk. Can you get rid of it? I'll do my best. To get rid of the tattoo? You do realize this is a tattoo. Oh shit. I was stupid. Oh. I knew it wouldn't come off. It's relatively gone. That's just like a scar now. I don't remember if they did it in the live action or not. I thought she stole the tattoo after. I have to look. Or you can confirm for me. I don't remember. But I feel like she still had the tattoo just with some cuts on it in the live action. I don't want anyone to see this. I'm just pretending that it's like he Damn. I like more of those past perceptions Nagiko, of this. That? Oh, is that why this? she got a tattoo? It's nothing. Just a tattoo. Now I look just like you. Oh, <laughs> man. It's so Dad, nice of her. I think I'd like a new tattoo. Is it gonna match? Like this. She got a tattoo, Sanji. He would be to the moon. What the fuck? Bellamere, your daughters are strong young women. My mind's made up. Was he crushing We're on her? We're not going to waste a single moment now. Fucking Luffy, bro. Ruining a great moment. I do like this, though, because it's like... The anime version, I mean, I think I talked about this many episodes ago, but then also people addressed it as like, they do such a good job of the community aspect in the anime. Like, they they really do focus on Bellamere and her impact a lot more on the village and all the village people, and as well as just all the respect they have for her. Because like in the other episodes, 
like the flashbacks they were all trying to save her and get to her to help her and like they looked out for her and really cared for her and respected her for taking in nochiko and nami so it's really cool seeing like how much the village really cares about each other and like will help each other yeah it's just it's really cool i i, I like seeing it portrayed a lot in this because they didn't really do that much in the live action with bellamere it was just between nami and bellamere my conveniences, my conveniences. <laughs> Couple, oh my god my deepest condolences Listen, boy, Luffy's such a goober. I know Nami's going away with you. If any of you ever do anything to hurt her, I will kill you. We're not gonna hurt her. <laughs> Luffy, bro. You sure? Luffy said, like, what are you talking about, bro? We're friends. <laughs> Damn, Sanji. I saw that. I saw that. Damn. Sanji truly pulled tonight. That's five. Good for him. Good for him. I'm proud of him. Oh, I thought he's gonna fall off. Is that the berries? Is she giving them all to the village? She doesn't need it now. Oh. Celebrating the day you became my daughter. <laughs> That's cute. And nothing will ever stop you. What a great role Show model. Those smiles. I'm gonna guide ships around all the oceans of the it's world. It's a big It'll ass bag. And I'll be able. Oh man. She's all grown up now. Well, Bellamere, we finally made it. It took eight long years, but we're finally free. Be brave and smile, and nothing Ugh. will be able to stop you. It's so true. Arlong's gone, and now everybody is so happy to be free. But don't worry. I'll be okay. I'm going with good, strong people. Like Do so. <laughs> and this last map is all that I have left to remind me. I'm just trying to say goodbye because I don't know if I'll be back. Mm. I'm going now. Oh, shit. The fucking nudge, bro. We Are they can't staying? Thank you enough for everything you've done for us, but we gotta go back to our regular jobs as bounty hunters. Mm. So this is goodbye. I call this. Well, we I call this happening. Someday. Goodbye. Yeah. I wonder now if they do meet up. Do not confirm. Going. Do not. Do but not we confirm. Yet we gotta wait for Nami. If you tried to hit on her again, I swear I'll break your freaking neck. You got it. <laughs> I'm gonna do something like that. She might not even be coming. After all, she has achieved her goal: friends and family. What about oh, me? That's so damn funny. It? What about, what about me, damn it? Nami's the only reason. Why is it Nami here? Don't know. I haven't seen her anywhere. She's probably already on the ship. What? 100 million berries? She left all of the money? She'll steal more. That's what her letter said. Yep. Hmm. Huh? Oh! Hmm? Big sis Nami. Nami. Send the sails! <laughs> Captain Nami. She's planning on leaving us without letting any of us thank her or say goodbye. She's like, I don't need your kindness. I'm fucking dipping. Damn, Zoro's strong as hell, bro. Just straight pulling the anchor out. Eyes closed, head down. Let us thank you. Damn. Put her on a football team, bro. They can't touch her. Air Jordan. That's the new logo right there. In heels, by the way. In heels. Oh, look. 
They got the fucking tangerines on the boat. I like that. The ship. It's not a boat. What? What? She stole all her fucking money, bro! That's so funny. Thanks a bunch. That's so funny, bro. I'd watch my back. <laughs> Sanji's like, I'm so proud of you, babe. I can't believe her. Bro, this guy is fucking slumped. He's probably super hungover from the past three days of partying and drinking. He's just fucking napping right now. My little sister got us good with that one. That's her new tattoo. Oh, a new tattoo. Is it the fringe? Tangerine and a pinwheel. Ah, that's cool. Where's your pinwheel? Luffy has it. Did he give it to Luffy that night? Maybe Luffy doesn't have it. Your face is too scary. It's Damn. Oh man! That's so cute. And he doesn't need it anymore because she's naturally happy. She's laughing. Damn, dude. Is it on that? Ah, uh, with the tantrum. Oh my god. So that's it, right? That's no after credits. Damn, dude. This solid episode. Solid episode. I mean, they all are. They all are. This was really good. I honestly, though, like, they did amazing in this. Compared to, I mean, live action is great. Don't get me wrong. Um, really focusing on Bellamare. Bellamare had so much focus and screen time and like emotional buildup just between her and the village, like her impact on the village and everyone individually, as well as with her, mostly Nami and some of Nochiko. And it was really good. Like, I liked that. Like, <laughs> when fucking Nami was talking to uh, Bellamere in the house, Bellamere's ghost spirit or being um, was really emotional. And then fucking. Uh, Bellamere giving on me that subtle push, like, go. Go out there and live your life. Like, so good. Super fucking good, dude. Like, ugh. That really pulls on you. My eyes got a little bit moist. A little bit. It's dusty in here. You know, I haven't dusted in a while. So, really good. Super good. I'm going to do, by the way, I'm going to do a video uh, after this. Not tonight. Maybe in the next day or so. But I'm going to do like a, a ranking video of like for the East Blue Saga, ranking my favorite arcs in order and why for the anime as well as for the live action and comparing like, like I'm going to do like ranking the anime arcs, the live action arcs, and then comparing which arcs I liked more like or why or different reasons between the anime and the live action versions now that now that i'm like evenly like i'm matched i watched all of the live action that covered all of the anime concept so i'm really going to compare them i don't know i might make it to two videos i i don't know yeah I, i'm going to think about it because i don't want too long of a video to just be annoying to watch so i'm just going to think about it a bit but dude it's great episode 44 done we are we're like four percent done four percent done of the series we are rolling practically done i'll make that joke forever but yeah it's, it's really good uh, definitely good emotional pulls these last few episodes it wasn't crazy action i would say but it was still really great the writing the character developments the relationship building between the crew and just like that freedom tone for nami it, it's just a good feeling it, 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 it's it's great it's great so yeah I'm excited for new things now. Everything going forward is completely new. Yeah, this is awesome. Arlen Park done. Now I'm not going to watch anymore until the live action season two. That would suck. I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. Wait, it's still East Blue. How long is the East Blue? 
is it 45 episodes? It might be 45 episodes. I'm gonna look right now in my um one piece like layout thingy layout thingy that's a great way yeah it's like all of one piece story arcs it's one piece dot fandom dot com so let's see east blue saga is 61 episodes oh so there's an additional arc yeah because our apparently our long park arc is 31 to 44 and then Logetown arc is 45 to 53, but it says episodes 50 and 51 are fillers. I'll probably watch them. You know, I'll, I'll probably watch them. Uh, and then... Er Erebasta Saga. Reverse Mountain arc. Interesting. So that is all... Episode 61 to 63. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just reading all this. Uh, Logetown arc is the last arc for the East Blue Saga. And then after that, it's the Arabasta. Arabasta? I think it's Arabasta Saga, which is 74 episodes. And five canon arcs and one non canon arc. Interesting. Cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we got, okay, we're not done with the East Blue saga yet. We still have Logetown arc, and I'm not going to read the description of it. I just, I just wanted to confirm how many actual episodes were left. Damn, I thought, this whole time I thought we were almost done with Arlong, or the, the East Blue saga. But we have one more arc to do. I'm okay with it. It's part of the journey. I accept it. I embrace it. That's why I was confused by this description, because it said the bounty on Luffy, blah, blah, blah. Kai is delighted to spot Usopp's head and Luffy's blah, blah, blah. So, like, it, it says shit that, like, I saw in the live action. So, I was like, wait, I thought the, the saga was over. So, that's cool to see. Okay. So, yeah. We have one more arc. And then, then we're on a new territory. I've been living a lie these past episodes, these past arcs, because I thought it was up to 44 and we're done. Look at me. Such a goober. But yeah, that's that's probably about it for now. Really great story so far. And I'm just at the very tip. I'm just at the beginning. There's so much to do. So much to unfold. I forget when the One Piece movie is. Like the first One Piece movie. When should I watch that? If you know off the bat, let me know. Because I'm I'm gonna have to look it up soon. And if it's worth watching or not. Like if it's a if it's a filler movie or if it's a recap movie of like the first saga, I don't know. Just give me all the context you know uh, and if it's worthwhile to watch or not. For the most part, probably all the movies I'll do depends on how popular they'll be or whatever. Um, I don't know if I'll edit them all for YouTube, but what I'll do if I even if I plan not to put them on YouTube, of course, they're all going to be on Patreon, obviously, but I'll probably do like quick highlight snippets like a short 10 15 minute video of like the hour and a half movie or whatever just to post all the highlight moments or highlight reactions or whatever just to be like a nice little short video for youtube um and then maybe people come to patreon who knows but yep that's about it let me know your thoughts i appreciate all the likes comments feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you guys in the next video have a good day bye Thank <laughs> you.